<laughs> All right, guys. Great game. Same time next week. Hey, I was just playing Zombie Dice with a couple of my friends. Have you played Zombie Dice before? No. Well, why don't you join me and we'll go over Zombie Dice and one of its expansions. Just remember, protect your brains. Zombie Dice. Eat brains and don't get shotgunned. This game includes rules, 13 dice, and a cup to hold them in. You'll need some way to keep score. Two or more players can play this game. The first player is the one who won the last game, or the one who can say, Brains, with the most feeling. Zombie Dice 2 Double Feature. Who doesn't love zombie movies? This set includes three new dice, two Hollywood heroes, and Santa Claus to add some new twists to your next undead rampage. I also recommend getting a couple of bag of brains from Twilight Creations, Inc. to use as brain counters while you're playing zombie dice. Mmm, brains. On your turn, shake the cup, take three dice from it without looking, and roll them. Each one is a human victim. The red dice are the toughest, the yellow dice are the medium toughest, and the green dice are the easiest. The dice have three symbols. Brains mean you ate your victim's brain. Shotgun means that they fought back and they hit you. And the footprints means your victim escaped. Keep your feet dice in front of you. If you choose to roll again, you will re-roll those dice, along with enough new ones to bring your total up to three. If you roll three shotgun blasts like I just did, your turn is over. Otherwise, you can choose to stop and score, or continue. If you decide to stop, score one for each brain you have, and put all the dice back into the cup, it's the next player's turn. If you choose to keep going, Leave all your feet on the table until all three of your dice are feet. Take enough random new dice from the cup to total three and roll again. Whenever you roll, you will roll three dice at a time. After you take new dice, you can't decide to stop. You have to roll. Set aside brains and shotguns. If you are up to three shotguns, your turn is over and you score nothing. Otherwise, you can stop and score like banking your points or take another roll. If you don't have three dice left in the cup, make note of how many brains that you have or keep track with your brain counters and put the rest of the dice back in the cup, keeping the shotguns in front of you to show how much damage that you've taken and then continue the game as normal. Play until someone reaches 13 brains, then finish the round. Whoever has the most brains at the end of that round is the winner. If there is a tie, the leaders only play a tiebreaker round. Now we know how to play Zombie Dice. Let's take a look at Zombie Dice 2 and see what new exciting expansions were added to the game. Big Summer Action Movie. Here comes the zombie fighting Hollywood heroes. The Hunk and the Hottie. Hard bodies, great hair, and tasty brains. This movie adds two hero dice. The hunk is the black die with the white icons. He has two feet, two shotguns, one double shotgun, and one double brain. With all those shotguns, he blows away zombies like crazy. His double brain icon doesn't mean he's extra smart, definitely not. It's just twice as awesome to eat an action hero brain, so it counts double. The hoodie is the black die with the pink icons. She has three feet with high heels, two shotguns, and one brain. With three feet sides, she is super hard to catch, and when she quits running, she's probably going to shoot you. Remove two yellow dice from the cup and drop in the hunk and the hottie. Symbols on the two heroes are brain. You got the hottie, or you hope you do. The hunk might rescue her. The double brain, you got the hunk. He's worth two brains, and that's if the hottie doesn't rescue him. Then you have the shotgun blasts, which means you took damage. The double shotgun blast, which is from the hunk. And then footprints. Uh, which shows that they ran away. You'll roll this die again your next turn if you keep going. 
The heroes can rescue each other from the zombies. If the hunk roll shotguns and the hotties in the brain pile, or came up brain on the same roll, the hottie is rescued and goes back in the cup. The hottie can rescue the hunk in the very same way. Santa meets the zombies. Santa has presents for all the rotting little boys and girls if you don't eat his brains first. Santa is the red die with the white icons. He has one brain, one shotgun, one feet, and three special icons. Remove one green die from the cup to replace with Santa. The symbols on the Santa die are as follows. The brain, which means you ate Santa's brain. The shotgun blast, which means Santa shot you first. Footprints, which means Santa got away. Double brains aren't Santa's brains, but he brought you the present you wanted most. This is worth two brains. Energy drink, now you're a fast zombie. Keep the die in front of you for the rest of your turn. And starting this roll, all green feet you roll are automatically turned into brains. Helmet. Now you're a tough zombie. Keep the die in front of you. It now takes four shotguns to kill you this turn. Santa comes out but once a year. If you run through all 13 dice, don't put Santa back in the cup, no matter what he's showing, until the next player's turn. For the direct-to-TV video sequel, take two yellows and one green and put all three of the new dice in the cup. The heroes can still rescue each other, they can also rescue Santa, and he can also rescue them. But remember that the double brain icon on Santa to die doesn't represent Santa himself. It's a Christmas present, so it's not affected if either hero rolls a shotgun. Zombie Dice is produced by Steven Jackson Games. They have also produced an app for your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad that you can download and play for free at apps.sjgames.com backslash zombie dice. Look for the link in the description. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Now, if you don't mind, I'm starving. Bray.